Hi friends, host Eric here, host of Talking with Famous People, the show that teaches you about everything, always. So, if you're like me, you wonder about cognitive functions sometimes and go like, what the fuck? Well, here's the answer. The answer is, here's some stuff I thought of today. Maybe this is right. Or more like, this seems like a good taxonomy. Yeah, this seems like a good way of putting it. Anyway, I'm highlighting right now, as you can see, because uh, I should have done that already, but I didn't. So that's why you get to enjoy this very fine display of color choosing. Wait, that's the wrong color. Fine display of color choosing alongside of a moray eel. Well... Not a more eel, but okay. I am officially diz on on the hisses. Okay, so there we go. Now they're all highlighted, and you're very excited. You can see here, I've divided the four categories of functions into doing functions, knowing functions, particularism, or particular functions, and universal functions. So particularist functions are functions that you use in isolated situations that are not generalized out from anything or to anything. Universal is generalizable and universalizable and falsifiable. So this is, you might call these non-falsifiable, but I don't like that because I'll put that someplace else. Anyway, uh, non-falsifiable and falsifiable. So let's look here. Doing, there are two kinds of doing functions, SE and any. SE is executing shit, executing stuff that you've already decided to do. And it breaks into two manifestations, a physical and metaphysical manifestation. The physical manifestation is stuff like sports, um, sex, and... I mean, sex is a variety of things, but one aspect, one way of manifesting sex is SE. And, uh, you know, doing physical shit, like lifting stuff. The metaphysical aspect of it, or metaphysical manifestation of it, is following through. Following through on shit you plan to do and doing it. Now, the other kind of acting, though, is any, and that kind of doing is improvising. So, whereas SE is executive, following through on shit, what has Trump done as president? He's followed the fuck through on shit, right? He said what he was going to do, and he did it. Now, any is not about following through, it's about improvising. So, the physical component of any is mostly going to be manifest in uh, simply looking around the room, drawing, taking little anchors, finding a good anchor in the room to build off of. Finding the, the, that one super cool hat that you should buy, you know, is is kind of like an anything to do. You kind of spend me all the different meanings out of that shit, and one of them will stand some scrutiny, you know. That finding anchors though is the aspect of any that's improvisational that's in the physical world, which is very little in the physical world. Ideation of all sorts is in the metaphysical world, and those are how the two manifestations. Now, we go to the knowing functions, that is to say, the epistemologies, and those are introverted sensing and introverted intuition. That's how you consider empirics or data. NI aesthetics, the physical manifestation of SI is your own body's sensations, comfort, um, the fact that I'm bouncing my leg up and down right now, uh, you know, being warm enough, cold enough, not, not too cold, full, not too sleepy, whatever. The schedule and history part, that's keeping track of your schedule, what you've learned, what's happened, what you plan to do, yada, yada, yada. That's all the metaphysical manifestation of SI. The physical manifestation of NI is animal instincts or animal intuition. That's when you get, I got a funny feeling about this place, and you get out of there real quick and stuff like that. Um, that can be mixed in with other things too, but basically, or the another example I have is of the car where I was in a situation where I knew all of a sudden I should move because I intuited the fact that this person up there had a good chance of coming over into the lane, even though there was no actual evidence he was going to do so. It was a circumstantial case. In other words, the positioning of the various cars around me and where I was in terms of him and where his blind spot I anticipated was, blah, blah, blah. But I didn't do any of that reasoning of any of that out. I didn't think any of that stuff. I just sort of knew it all of a sudden. That's NI, 
And that's the animal intuition part of it, the physical manifestation. Art intuitions are the best way to put NI's metaphysical component, what works artistically. And it's because it's it has so many variables that you can't you can't keep track of it like you can't shit you with SI. It's knowing how uh, a system performs, how a change in a system, introducing a change into a system will impact out throughout the system. That's NI. That's where Socionics is right to say it's a time-related function because it understands best how a, an impact in the system now will impact the system as a whole. Its limitation is that it necessarily sees systems as static, even though systems themselves are not closed systems, and that's why it's limited. Okay, now particularism is the notion that we decide what we're going to do right now for our reasons right now and not worry about anything outside of this moment. FI is the exact experience of the moment in terms of direct payoff. Like, if shit sucks, you feel direct emotional pain. If shit's, um, if shit's good, you feel direct emotional pleasure. So that's generally a category called moisture. And a physical manifestation of feelings would be something like a feeling of lump in the throat or a reflexive laughter or uh, stuff like that. The metaphysical aspect of feelings is more like keeping track of your relations and their significance and understanding magnitude and significance to you individually um, in terms of being able to order them. Uh, like this one's most important, second, third, blah, blah, blah. Now, if you look at TE, that's the other form of particularism. It's, it's putting a handle on shit, causing shit to happen, basically. Um, the, but it's because it's a thinking function, it's kind of inherently metaphysical. So, the physical manifestation is knowing how to cause shit. So, like, if I do this, it's going to cause these outcomes. It's related to the NI animal intuition in that regard. But um, it's, it's more like, if I do it this way, it'll cause this outcome this quickly. If I do it this way, it'll cause this outcome that quickly with fewer, um, with fewer side effects or whatever. That's good TE, bad, bad TE on the physical level. On the metaphysical level, it's actually knowing how to explain shit and understanding how to, um, how to, how to distinguish between good ways and bad ways of accomplishing metaphysical things that require you to interact with other agents. I experience this metaphysical aspect of TE a lot now in the last couple of weeks because I'm with somebody who's TE polar, and that causes me to up my six six slot TE game substantially because it suddenly becomes rewarding. It's like, oh, this person needs my help here. And that makes it much more appealing for me to do. It's much easier for me to do other people's tasks than it is for me to do my own. Anyway, FE, let's go over the next one. The universal functions, these ones are ones that can be falsified. They're universalizable as a consequence. They're not particularist. FE is all about being cool and not cool or being loved, like, thought this, thought that, whatever. It's all about perceptions, really. But it's additionally about making sure that other people care about other people's perceptions so that um, it does have an ethical component in that regard. All right. In the physical element of it, though, it's like any, it's mostly metaphysical. And so, um, similarly, FI is mostly physical and TE is uh, mostly metaphysical, regardless. FE is mostly metaphysical, but it does have anchoring, just like any does. It draws from data from the real world. It gets from the real world. And then it has a social map. It's the metaphysical component of FE that basically keeps track of um, relations of hierarchy, perceptions of people, and perceptions that people have of other people, yada, 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 and how things will be perceived or are likely to play. Okay, and then from the uh, non-emotional side there of it, TI it provides consistency. It's only physical manifestation is in fact viscosity that is to say to slow down those who would make shit happen and it's it does so in order to vet it basically and to be a check and balance upon human agencies default towards action and then logic of course is the more metaphysical component of it it is it is logic it is conditionality it is deductive reasoning that's what ti is and that Concludes this chart. I would like to open the floor to anybody who's got any thoughts from the assembled personages. I hear no thoughts from the assembled personages. So I'm going to assume that means it's time to end the video. Taylor's got a shoe. 
and that's important too. Cotto is here as well, and it sounds like there's some birds. Or is that are those your birds, Taylor? Those might be his birds. I mean, I don't think they belong to him, but I mean, they might be coming from his audio source. Anyway, yeah, you got your your bottle opener, I believe that is, and a shoe. Two different ways to buy, to open a bottle. Meanwhile, I've got this to replace my stink thongs from Walmart. Although they did hold a special place in my heart. We I, cannot hear you, Eric. Oh, at you can't all. hear me? That's funny. Okay. Thanks for watching Talking to Those People.